Greetings, tube dwellers, and welcome back to Far Cry 3. Uh, I've had a bit of an accident, and I've got to be honest, there are people chasing me. So I'm going to have to bail out of that scene pretty quickly. Uh, you didn't miss much between the split of episodes. Whoa. Uh, I pretty much just went over a hill that, uh, that I thought that they couldn't take, and it turns out I couldn't take it. That's okay. Ooh, a gold chain. That looks like a PT boat, which is awesome. Because it has a gun. This has got to be Dr. Earnhardt's mansion, right? There's supposed to be goats on this island. <gasps> goats! Goats! Oh, I never thought I'd find you, goats. Come to Papa. No, no, goat. Don't you run, little goat. Come here, little goaty buddy. He's going to chase. He's going to follow, lead me right into... Ah! Come on now, I already gave up two other goats for you. Oh god. Uh, I need to be really careful here. I actually think I'm really close to uh, where I uh, finished that supply drop. Come on goat, go down, just go down now. I think I only need one goat skin. Is this true? Oof. Oh, yeah. Okay, yep, sure enough. It just showed me, no, not the simple quiver, are you kidding me? Um, I can, oh, I'm not quite there yet, hold on. Yes, I am there! A simple holster. Boom! Owned! Rugged holster takes deer hide. I'll have to keep that in mind. Ah, uh, so I can hold two weapons now, right? I think so. That's awesome. Two weapons! I'll have to, uh, some more goats. I don't know what else right off the top of my head I can use goat hides for, but, uh, I want to get at least another one, maybe another couple. Oh, I'm close! <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, wouldn't the first slice slow him down at least a little? Make it easier to get the second one off? I can't wait to get a bow or something. Something to make hunting uh, quietly easier. Uh, one more goat. One more goat. Oh, you messed up, goat. You messed up. You were the slow one, the runt goat of the herd. The sickly one. You go down. Oof, cutting along the spine this time. Okay, well, uh, a grenade pouch. Hmm. Uh, I probably do want to make that, but I'm going to hold off for just a second. And actually, uh, the next thing I want to do is invest some skill points. Uh, but I also want to head towards Dr. Earnhardt's mansion to figure out what the next leg of my journey is going to be. Let's go ahead and take a look at our skills. I have three to spend. Wow. I've been really negligent. Okay, so my choices, <clears throat> let me start on the shark one. I believe this is probably going to be uh, my most useful, maybe even my most useful skill tree in my opinion, I don't know. Uh, we'll feel it out as the skills progress. Uh, I have resistance to explosive damage by 50%, I have uh, health bar regeneration 50% faster, and then I have uh, additional maximum health which could lead to improved first aid um, without medicine. Now the thing about that is that I don't foresee having any problems keeping medicine on me. Uh, there are green plants everywhere, and I am the type that doesn't mind stopping and picking some plants every now and then. Uh, I'll likely keep a stock of green plants, and so likely keep a stock of medical syringes. Um, so I kind of think this may not come into play. I'm sure there's probably a couple critical situations where it would help in, but I'm going to assume that that would be mostly useless. Take down drag. Over in Spider, we have quickly hide bodies after performing a standard takedown. I wonder how that works. I wonder if I can choose where to pick them up and where to drag them to and where to put them down, or if it's just like an automatic right as I stab him, I slide him back a little bit. I don't know. Uh, that sounds real attractive to me, though. Harvest twice as many items from plants. That also sounds really attractive to me and then swim 25% faster when clicking left shift in the water. I have found myself swimming quite a bit already. Uh, I probably won't take that immediately, but that seems like something that uh, I may be interested in. So right now I'm thinking it's going to be the one max health, and then probably uh, take down drag and, and horticulture. Um, let me take a look over here real quick though. So cook grenades, that would be useful. I haven't really used grenades yet, but I'm sure that I will. Um, syringe potency, crafted syringe effects will last longer. Interesting. Uh, hip shooter, improved hip fire accuracy when using pistols, SMGs, and shotguns. Okay, I will probably like SMGs and shotguns. Those will probably end up being my favorite weapons if the weapons feel anything like they do in Call of Duty. 
Death from above. Press space to jump onto an enemy below and kill him. Oh my god. There is actually an air assassination. That's amazing. I totally could have used that on some of those cassowaries. Uh, steady aim. Click left shift to steady the crosshair two times longer when looking through the scope. Okay, well I haven't even gotten a sniper rifle yet. and um, Sniper rifles are probably going to be really useful in this game, but I don't know. Something about sniper rifles just doesn't... It's not nearly as satisfying to me as... Is getting up close and personal, so um, I don't know. I I can only imagine they're going to be really useful in this game, though. So that's something that I'll I'll probably end up getting. Let's uh, let's go with my my first uh, judgment here. Let's go with uh, one additional max health, and then let's give myself the ability to drag bodies. And before, ooh, check it out. It's going to show it to me. Oh, quickly hold S to start dragging the target's body. Use the mouse to turn when moving backwards. Release S to drop the body so I can drag it to wherever I want. That's awesome. I have to keep in mind, though, to hold S directly after holding F. That's easy enough. Now, what did this unlock? Running reload. Press R to reload a weapon while sprinting. Oh, my God. That actually sounds huge. Um, but you know what? I think I'm still going to have to prioritize horticulture over it. Uh, running reload, I'm almost certain that I'm going to end up getting uh, at some point. But let's go ahead and get horticulture now. I am harvesting a lot of plants now. Ooh, and the tatao. Ooh, it fleshes out a little further. Unfortunately, I can't look down and see it. Do I see it when I... No, I can't really... I can't really observe my tatao. Um, so let's see here. I think... Was this the hill? I don't think this was the hill I was driving up. I was driving up some hill, and it was absolutely covered in pirates. Uh, so I don't... I don't fully trust that Dr. Earnhardt's mansion is gonna be... is gonna be under uh, friendly control. I kind of expect it not to be, and it looks like uh, Dr. Earnhardt has a very rusty jeep out here. Uh, I wonder if she's any good at racing. <laughs> her name, her bloodline would suggest that she just may be. Uh, her, I keep saying her. Did they tell me that it was a her? Did some of the dialogue indicate that Dr. Earnhardt was a she? I do not know. That looks like a power line. There for just a second I was thinking, wow, epic zip line. Huh, it's kind of a neat little river. That's a neat little footpath, too. I'm guessing that probably goes down to a boat landing. Let us continue up the hill. Uh, and as this gets more and more remote, I'm thinking that it, there is a chance that, uh, that pirates aren't uh, all over this. It seems weird, though, to me. Uh, pretty much anywhere you are on the island, if you fire a shot, pirates are there. So it seems weird to say that there are parts of the island that pirates don't know about or haven't explored or something. I don't... I kind of, I kind of don't believe that. Wow, I did not expect to see all of this. This is quite surprising. She's got herself a little pond up here. This is a, this is a paradise. As if this whole island isn't paradisical. I don't think that's a word. Don't repeat it if you, if you're sounding ignorant. You likely will. Ah, uh, wow, she's got a hang glider post. Why do I get the feeling that this is going to be a hideout of mine? Why do I get the feeling that eventually? I'm gonna be staying here. There's kind of a weird little icon over here. What is that? I guess maybe just some rocks? I don't know. That icon on my minimap's tripping me out a little bit, though. Uh, knock knock! Hello! Dr. Earnhardt. Wow. Talk about well read. I don't like the music right now, either. It's building up to something. I don't know what it is. And propane tanks. Oh boy. Why do I get the feeling now that I could probably blow this entire place up? Herbs. Is there oh. anything you fancy? It is not a her. I like the red ones myself. It is a he. The purples will give you a lift on a gray day. Everything is excellent, really. You have some of the purple in you oh, right now, don't you? Don't take them. They are liable to kill you. The mix is not quite right yet. Well, that's it, Dr. Earnhardt here, or in and out, as the case may be. <laughs> yeah, I'm Jason. Dennis said you'd be able to help me, that you found one of my friends. One of your friends? Huh. I am, uh, uh -oh. distilling a batch later today. What? What? Oh, you... You mean the girl, Daisy. Oh, Miss Daisy. Lisa. I assume you to be speaking in code. Where is she? Well, she's in my house. Uh, here. He thought I was talking about drugs. 
one of my friends, he was like, friends, eh? <laughs> he thought I was looking for some coke or something worse. Actually, it would probably be coke or something better. <laughs> as the uh, as the quality scale of drugs would go. <laughs> She's in the house, huh? Where at? Daisy! Daisy! Oh my god! She's burning up. Yes, of course. When I found her, she had cut her arm, which in itself would be no cause for alarm. But she had cut through a field of anti aris toxicaria. Oh boy. Upus trees. Highly poisonous latex. I have been administering an antidote each hour. Wow. I'm afraid that another dosage may be required. I did just examine the box. It's empty. Where should I go for more? Oh boy. Set us up with a couple of cave mushrooms and we will be right as rain. This guy creeps me out. Peruse the cliffs. To the west. Thank you, Doctor. I'm sorry for the rush. Ah, some manners. The girl must live. For you and me both. What? What do you mean by that? Hold up! Hold the phone! Can I go back in there real quick? There was stuff flashing in there. I'd like to go back inside, please. It's not gonna happen. I should just let it go. Mushrooms in the deep! Okay, so now it makes a little bit more sense why this is called Mushrooms in the Deep. Let's do some quick selling. Quick sell all the garbage, 348. Boy, my money is just piling right up. I think I probably have the option to buy quite a bit. Oh, hold on, I didn't want to go all the way out. I wanted to go back over. Uh, so I can carry a second weapon now. Huh. What should I try? Hmm. I've got quite a bit of money, too. Oof. I still want to try a shotgun. Um, range is kind of already a problem, though, with the assault rifle I have. Uh, I own an STG-90? What do you mean, I own one of these? I own that? Where is it? Huh. I may just end up equipping something I already own. Saving my money for something bigger and better. I could get a sniper rifle again. Uh, I'm not going to dive right into sniper play. An LMG, that would be crazy. Let's run around with a LMG on my back. Oof, some explosive weaponry. Specials. Oh, so I own a repair tool already, too. Oh, the recurve bow. Um, you know what? I just noticed there are attachments. Hold on. Before I buy a recurve bow, which I really, really want to buy a recurve bow, um, before I do that, let me go look at my assault rifle. Let me look at the AK. Um, can I customize it? Ah, uh, no attachments. It even says it right there, no attachments. Um, can I equip the STG? Can I replace the AK with the STG? Okay. And there is an attachment, can I customize it? An extended magazine or a red dot sight? It's only 300, let's do the sight. Maybe it'll give me a little bit more, uh, ability to range with the weapon. Interesting, okay. So we've switched it up already, huh? Okay, well that leaves me plenty of money to... I think we're actually right on the edge. Oh, I'm just not going to have enough. Uh, so I am going to have enough for the recurve bow, and I'm going to go ahead and do it. Uh, and I may put an attachment on it, although I don't know yet. Um, I wanted to go grab a map too, though, and I'm not going to have enough money. I wanted to grab one of these loot maps, because uh, I, I'm sure that that would turn into more than the 1500 it costs. Um, but I'm close, actually. You know what? Maybe... Maybe I could go sell some things that I normally wouldn't want to sell. Um, let's sell some stuff that's easy to get. Let's sell some dog skin. Yes. Let's sell a couple pieces of dog skin. That put me over 1,500. I'm barely over it. Nope, nope, nope. One more time. Let's go back in there. I'm barely over 1,500, but I'm over it enough uh, to make it work. A mannequin. Let's go ahead and get that one because I know that area, and I think that area is mostly safe. <laughs> Wow, so is this the area, is this the whole island, and is this the area that a manichae is? It kind of seems so, and it seems like the doctor's island's on, or the doctor's mansion's on one of these islands over here. Hmm, interesting, all very interesting. So, I want to see two things. I want to see one. Ha, oh, check that out. Um, oh, it's giving me a tutorial for the recurve bow. Survival guide. These bows were used by Huns, Greeks, Turks. Howdy doody, 
Dick Cheney, if a civilization kicked ass while on horseback, they probably had recurve bows. Today's recurve bows are made of fiberglass or carbon instead of wood, and are more durable and reliable than ever. Right you are, Tip. Uh, so, so, really, I want to look at this first, though. What do you... Okay, the STG-90! Uh, I'm not gonna read that. That's alright. I'm not, uh, I'm not the biggest weapon buff, if you couldn't tell by, uh, me using nonsensical terms to refer to some of the weapons. I wonder if the good doctor would mind if I took his hang glider out for a stroll. I think he probably wouldn't. Uh, I'm almost a little weary of that, though, because last time I took a hang glider out, um... No, you know what? It didn't, really. I was getting ready to say it left me a little bit stranded, but no. No, it didn't. It actually delivered me straight to a radio tower, which had a lot of other stuff right there with it. Uh, I saw something. Yeah, this. What is this all about? A med kit? Apparently, I can't do anything with med kits unless I'm, like, hurt, or I guess unless I don't have a full pack of syringes, which I don't think my syringe pack is full right now. Ah, there it is. I wonder if there's anything else in his house. I didn't really give his house a good look over. Um, okay, so vehicle or hang glider. Vehicle or hang glider. Let me get a glance at my height here. This is pretty high up. Ooh, oh, that's right. I'm on a mission and I can't leave the mission area. That's probably, uh, that probably outlaws the uh, hang glider use. That's probably not a good idea. So let's just, uh, let's just go ahead and path away from it. Pick some flowers as I go. Um, let's see, where is it? Let me let me get an idea here. He said the hills to the west, right? Uh, this way would be west. Um, oh, okay. So it's actually to the north. Well, that's all right. I will forgive him. Luckily, he marked some places on my map. Ah, now this this is what I was wanting to see. Huh? I think it. Nah, I don't think it really zooms in any more than just aiming down the site was. It's a little hard to tell because I was using an AK before and now I'm using this. Oh my. I've only got five arrows. Oh, I'm a dunce. I should have bought arrows while I was there. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't think I had. Uh, hold left mouse to draw arrow. Release it to fire. And right to aim. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Wow, I like the little aiming thing on it. That's kind of neat. I don't have a whole lot of experience with bows, so, uh, so this will be some interesting stuff. Pigs. I think I can still use some pig skin. Yes. Hello, little piggy. Unfortunately, piggies are not safe around me yet. I haven't gotten everything. Oh, it takes three slices, doesn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, they're angry. There's a whole pack of them. Oh, my God. They are serious. <laughs> I was just mauled to death by pigs. I didn't even expect that that was possible. Huh. Wow. Okay, so... uh. Reloading on the autosave, it put me right on this hill. Uh, okay, so the pig hut was right there, so it didn't take me too far. Uh, it put me right on this hill. Oh, those are caves! That little weird dark... Uh-oh. And there are sharks. Um, this is interesting all of a sudden. This just got real interesting. I'm pretty sure that I can't do anything to these sharks from the surface. Left shift to swim faster. Yeah, it looks like I'm going to need it, right? Uh, wow, this is, this is kind of spooky. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what trouble we can get into. Some shark trouble. Hopefully they have difficulty with these caves. Wow, I am swimming, I'm swimming faster than I've ever seen somebody swim with flippers. I found an entrance to the cave. I'm pretty sure that the sharks can't follow me. I hope they can't. And, uh, wow, this definitely looks like a very vegetation thick cave. It's crazy how much vegetation there is here, actually. I guess there's a little bit of this light coming in. Doctor better know what he's doing. Yeah, he is very crazy. I have to concur there, Jason. Very astute observation leap of you. Of what? This is not a proper leap of faith. Uh, wow. I kind of want to get over to that other side, though. That other side. Uh, looks like there's mushrooms all over the place. That's what he wanted, right? I uh, guess what? Can I climb back up the vines once I get down there? Okay. Well, here we go! Oh, did I leap too far? No, I didn't. I am a-okay. That water was deep enough all the way across. Wow, I went pretty deep, too. So, uh, here we are at the base of a waterfall. 
I don't trust waterfalls. If Skyrim's taught me anything, <laughs> uh, I should say video games in general. If video games in general have taught me anything, you don't trust anything that can be used to hide something, which is basically everything. Ah, here we go. Vines. You don't trust anything is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Distrust all. That's a rock! Oh my god! You can hide something behind a rock. Move the rock quickly! Search! Huh. Just a little hole. Kind of misleading. I thought it was going to be a uh, secondary path. Can I please? Yeah. Stay up on the cave here. Explore the cave for mushrooms. I'm getting close. It looks like it's looping back around to, uh... Wow, you know, if these vines weren't so perfectly grown, then that leap of faith probably would have been a leap of death. Because I'd get trapped down there. And I think... Oh my god! They're poisonous! The doctor! The doctor's trying to kill me! Oh my god. They are the right kind of poisonous, though. Uh, uh oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Oh. This is new. Look at the look at the light in the waterfall. Um, okay, so so I gotta try not to step on. Oh, uh, um. Wow. Okay, I think. Let's uh, let's crouch. That's gonna move a little slower. It's gonna put me closer to the ground, so I can see the patterns of mushrooms a little bit more easily. Are these even the mushrooms? I feel like these might not even be the mushrooms. I feel like uh, the cave mushrooms I have to find are something slightly different than these. These are just some poisonous bulbs. Some kind of other poisonous fungus. This is new, he said. <laughs> he indicated that it didn't hurt. Maybe I should just roll around in them. Huh. I heard his voice saying that he likes the red ones. Um... Did I just fall? I feel like I just fell. No, I'm actually flying. I am flying up this cave. And rocks? Wow! Studio called. I got the roll! Wow! I haven't seen a whole lot of games that display to you a perspective of some sort of insanity. Uh, but every time I've seen them, they're always amazing. Um, what was that game about the convict who saw demons? I can't remember that game. Wow, these mushrooms are just like firing their spores. We're in Bangkok together, and I can't believe how beautiful you are. Sounds like this isn't the first time he's been on a trip, if you know what I mean. Wow. Promise, Dad, I take care of you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So vivid. Riley is your little brother. He looks up to you. Hey, hey, you're gonna come to the house. I mean, it's not I'm gonna end up laying down in this cave, lost, staring at some rock. Is this really in this cave? I have to assume that it's not really in this cave. Wow, this is absolute insanity. So far it hasn't been a bad trip, I suppose. It's been kind of just interesting. Wow. Wow, okay. All the windows are breaking. Whoa! Did I actually get him? I can't tell. What? Where am I? Where did I come from? There they are. Ah! I am the Batman. Whoa. Okay. Are these the dangerous ones? I feel like most of these are the dangerous ones. Maybe not. They look like they're a different color. Yeah. No. I just gotta get the tall ones. What? Come on, I'm not gonna come down here and take one. I'm gonna jam that jar full of mushrooms. Well, I guess maybe keeping the spores intact is, uh, is a necessity. I would totally be taking more mushrooms than just that. I mean, come on, I just went on a super psychedelic trip to get all of this. 
My rucksack is full. Uh, do I even have the things to make a bigger rucksack? And is it really full? It is really full. That sucks. Um, so where was it again? In here. Yes, that's right. What does it require if I don't have enough? Tapir hides. I think tapirs are kind of common and pretty easy to find. I may have to make that a priority. Whoa. How long was I down there? Whoa, it's nighttime? Wow. I think I just lived a, uh, a whole six to eight hour trip. That's pretty amazing. Uh, so there's totally an easier way in and out of that cave. Uh, I guess I just happened to find the, uh, the difficult way. Yeah, that's right, my rucksack is full, so I'm not going to be able to do pretty much anything for a while. Ooh, I'm glad that I caught that. I actually was not sure that I was going to be able to do that little bit of parkour, but it worked! So far, the, uh, the little bit of parkour in this game is satisfying. I like how they didn't go overboard with it, but how it's, you know, it's, it's here and there. It's around. Jump up on a box every now and then. You can make a little jump that looks like you might not be able to make. Because you can grab the ledge and everything's fine. Wow, all of a sudden this uh, this hillside looks a lot bigger than it did when I came down. I'm doing vertical climbs and multiples of them and not getting to the top very quickly. It's odd, you'd think on a remote island. Well, I guess maybe the sun's just going down. I was going to say you should be able to see the stars a lot better. But if there's any light from the sun still in the sky, it's going to drown out the stars quite heavily. Since we're so far away from most civilization, though, you'd think that the, uh, the bleeding effect from other lights would be pretty minimal. Okay, before I do anything else, I'm going to try to sell all this crap again. Man, my rucksack is filling up quick. 14 items. That, uh, that emptied me out pretty well. Um, I still have a lot of crap on me. I hate how each of these hides takes up its own inventory slot. I feel like those should be able to stack. Uh, maybe there's some kind of hunting perk that I can get that allows them to stack. Oh, okay, he's not in the house. He's out in the shed. Holy ogly, eh? Well, let's go out to the shed then. I saw this shed in a dream of mine. He's gonna be like, I thought you had died. I was worried about you. <laughs> oh, Jason, what a pleasant surprise. I whipped up a couple of high notes since you were gone. <laughs> Uh oh yes, and the girl is now awake. Terrible fever, however. What did I do with the burgers? What burgers are oh, those? Oh yes. <laughs> I finished them off. <laughs> <laughs> he is mushrooms. high as a kite right now. Delightful. Give them to me. I need a couple of minutes to prepare the medicine. Go check on her. Go check on her. A little hand gesture to indicate, go, 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 go that way. That's a really interesting looking wind charm. Uh, okay, so, Daisy. It says, meet with Daisy. <laughs> it's kind of an odd bit of verbiage. Oh, no. Is she going to flip out? Jason. How you feeling? Uh, you got away, that's how I'm feeling. The doctor's a real trip. Oh, he's... he's harmless. Oh, he's kind of sweet, actually. He carried me here. I escaped from the convoy. At some point, I passed out. The doctor saved me. I'm glad you made it. Yeah. It's been really rough. Yeah. My brother's dead. Jason, what's wrong? Grant, he, uh... Daisy. No. I'm so, so sorry. Some reality of the situation sinking in. So, so that's it? I... What's this? I'm a warrior now. Are you gonna be okay? I've gotta talk to the doctor about the others. Yeah. You sure? Jason, whoever did this, whoever killed Grant, deserves to die. You are still pretty naive there, woman. I don't, uh... By all means. I don't think that's your foremost concern, Daisy. I want to thank you for saving her. Think nothing of it. 
Three of my friends and my little brother are missing. When I find them, can I bring them here? Huh. Absolutely not. I cannot afford to have Vass's captives here. His men buy product from me todo el tiempo. Then <laughs> this is the safest place. He won't think to look for them here. Please, Doctor. Let him bring the rest here. They'll die otherwise. Agnes. Oh my god. How can I refuse you? It's his daughter. This is his daughter's room. Of course they can stay. He's crazy. He thinks Daisy is his daughter. She's looking oh, at me like, what the fuck? I'm going to need a double dosage to calm my nerves. Agnes? Oh. I'll be fine. I really, I really hope he doesn't think that that's his wife. <laughs> Uh, I still saw flashy stuff in the room. Please, let me go in the room. Did you find your friend? Yeah. Yeah, she's fine. Thank you, Dennis. You made this happen, not me. It is your victory. Where are the others? Is there a way I can search for them? Anything to help me find them? You know, Jason, the pirates use a satellite dish for communication on the Medusa. You could enter the calm room and listen in on the signal. What's the Medusa? A ship that has been beached nearby. With pirates guarding it. The path of the warrior, Jason. Train your body, and your mind will follow. But <laughs> the tower will bring you closer. The Medusa's Call. I wonder if this is going to put me on mission again so that I can't go do my own exploratory stuff. Uh, that is a fast travel point. There are some chests here that I haven't gotten yet. I'm not terribly worried about it, though. I'm doing okay on loot. Wanted Dead Quest, and then, of course, the Path of the Hunter Quest. There is my next objective. Well, given that that's so far away, what? A Temple of Stone? What? Uh, given that that's so far away, I'm thinking that, uh, ooh, I, I actually like, I think this red, Valsadox, Wellshore Wrecker's House, I think this red might indicate a concentration of enemy forces. So if I were to go around, if I were to circumvent, I would probably run into less enemies, but it would take a lot longer. Um, I'm thinking since that's so far away, they probably won't be quite as heinous with the, uh, with the, uh, restriction on, uh, how far away I can go. Um, I kind of don't want to go there anyway. I kind of want to go, uh, do some other things. I want to go do some of these little side quests. The Valsa Docks. There are loot chests everywhere. So this is a manakee. I wonder how far... I got the, uh, the loot map for a manakee. I wonder how far that stretches. I wonder if it's just this, these two... Uh, radio towers, or if uh, or if once I reveal these, I'll have more loot chests. There are loot chests everywhere. Okay, well, let's see where this glider can take me. I keep coming in and out of this map. That's probably really annoying. Uh, I could fast travel to a maniki town. I guess there's not really anything over here in close proximity that I want to go to. Um, let me do a quick look at some crafting stuff. Progress through the story to unlock new recipes, craft syringe recipes for temporary boosts, craft equipment and ammo recipes to carry more items. Okay, making progress. Check the progress tab in the handbook menu for missions complete, radio towers and outposts liberated, and upcoming reward points. And fast travel I already know about. Uh, so it said, uh, where did it say the handbook? Nope, I went into options, that's not what I wanted, I wanted the handbook. Yes. So wow, I'm progressing through the missions kind of quickly, honestly. I kind of like that it gives you a little bit of an idea of what's coming up. Uh, and apparently there are some outposts that are going to be a little extra special. Vehicles driven, I'm about halfway through. Wow, okay, so this is kind of neat. I'll, uh, I'll have to check back into that fairly often. Now, uh, let me look at some of the crafting. I can craft a quiver, and I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. Goat skin. Nothing else that I saw immediately requires goat skin. Tapir hides. There are now two things that I could use uh, tapir hides for, and I think the other one was my rucksack. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to hunt some tapir very soon. Uh, and then also, let's see, what was it? An ammo patch, I think? Uh, it was the next weapon holster, wasn't it? Uh, well, next weapon holster is deer hide. Uh, there was something else that was like uh, leopard skin. Yeah, I've seen some leopards around. Okay, so leopards, deers, and tapirs, I think, are my next... Uh, animal uh, priorities and there are leopards here there are tapirs near a maniki here and uh, those are boars maybe just there 
Um, deer, it looks like I'm gonna have to go a ways up, but there are some deer pretty close to my objective, so that all seems fine and well. Uh, leopards. Wow, am I really getting ready to go hunt a leopard? Should I even do this? I feel like I probably should not even do this. Even try to go hunt a leopard at this stage. I do have an SMG. Surely an SMG makes leopard hunting a little easier, right? I mean, just, just accuracy by volume? Point and shoot, right? Terms not reserved for, uh, for cameras. I'm kind of worried about this main road here. I worry that, uh, oh yeah, that bridge especially. I know there were some guards right on that bridge. I think I kind of want to land somewhere over here in the trees. Um, did I just hear a helicopter? I feel like I heard a helicopter for a split second. I feel like this whole area is probably going to be good leopard hunting ground. And it's also probably going to be infested with baddies. And given how many trees there are, it's probably also going to be really hard to land in. Uh, let's kind of circle back around towards my objective here. And let's see if I can find a little stretch of road that's somewhat safe. Oh! Oh, it hurt. Oh, and they saw it. Oh, they've got a vehicle too. This is going to be nasty. I think they're getting out of the vehicle, luckily. I think I might be able to get away with the crouch and the sneak. Maybe. I think they technically lost me. I'm going to keep moving. I need to not go that way. Wow, how did I end up with the AK again? Hold on. Hold the phone. What? Did it not save? It didn't save. Oh, that's why my rucksack was full. It didn't save that I bought the recurb. I got killed by the pigs. Oh my god, I don't have the bow. I don't have the SMG. I don't have the... Wait a second, I don't have the loot map? What do you mean I don't have the loot map? How do I see all of these chests if I didn't get the loot map? Something's not right about this. I may have just... Uh, I may have just found a glitch. Yeah, they see me. I'm hoping that one of them is going to uh, be away from his vehicle. Oh. We're going to have to get real here. I need this vehicle, bud. I'm going to have to damage it a little bit. That's going to have to be okay. We have got to move. We got to move. 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 Oh, it hurts. I'm in a bit of pain here. A bit of pain. Ah, uh, if I find a leopard, I'm gonna have to use my gun to fight it. I'm in bad shape all of a sudden. I probably need to just fast travel to a manaki. Crap! None of this went how I wanted it to. Everything's wrong. Was that far enough? I think that might have been far enough. Especially going over that hill. I may have just given them the slip. I think so. I think I'm safe. Um, so wow, do I even really want to try to fight a leopard with my knife? Um, I guess I could just use the gun and then quickly bail. Oh man, I'm in a pickle. I am in one hell of a pickle. I don't even know the leopards. The leopards are on a slightly different part of this, aren't they? Yeah, they're right around this corner. I bet if I continued up or around this hill, I could get to them. Looks like they kind of know where I went, but yeah, they're not going to find me. It's going to take them quite a while to discover that I abandoned that vehicle and abailed. Huh, there's another vehicle. It actually looks like it may be a wrecked vehicle. No, maybe it's maybe it's a fully... Well, hmm. I have some crap to deal with now, and I think uh, this may just make a good breaking point. Um... Nah, you know what? Let me let me see. I just want to see if I can find a leopard and just kill it quick and get out. Huh. I see some goats over there to my left. Oh, as well as some soldiers. Oh, wow. Check that out. You know what? That would probably give me a good viewpoint. This may be a, uh, a bit of a little enemy hideout, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's not a fort. And there are some chests up here, too. Actually, with these little festive lights, I'm thinking they may not be pirates. Uh, let's see. Let's see what we have. I don't see any red dots yet. What are we dealing with here? Some cigarettes. Okay. And nothing! No one's here. It's a little bar. It's a little tiki bar. This would be a hell of a place to sit and get drunk. <laughs> Doesn't even have nice swimming water down below. It's all incredibly crappy. 
Oh, oh, no. Are those deer? I think those are deer. I'm not sure. I probably wouldn't be able to catch them no matter what. Would this tell me? Would this tell me what those are? Those aren't deer. What are those? I'm not totally sure. Whoa! I saw a vehicle for a split second. I guess it must have went down a different road. Are those clothes down there on the beach? No, those are birds. Okay. So where's this leopard? This leopard's supposed to be like right over there. Maybe right over there would be a bit more accurate. There's no way I'm going to be able to run right up on one of these bastards. But let me try it. Let me just see. Oh! Nope. Too fast. Too quick for me. And I'm not going to risk a shot. I know there are guys close enough that they would come running pretty quick. A matter of fact, there's some guys right there that would see me immediately. Uh, I do see another vehicle. Whoa! Whoa! They see me immediately. And I've got guys running up on my back by now. I know I do. Whoa! What the... They were not kidding when they said Komodo Dragon. Oh god, there are guys coming from all over. They may still see me. I think they do. I think if I start crouching now, though, they'll probably lose me pretty quick. That's one thing that's pretty nice about, uh... About enemy, uh, awareness, I guess, in this. Ooh, I'm really close to another relic, actually. I may have to chop this and, uh, come back to this leopard hunt. They're fighting the dragons, aren't they? The alligators or Komodo dragons or whatever they are. I just can't see them. There are a couple guys over there that know something's up. Don't know exactly what, though. Oh, wow, has this been turned into a little tiki bar, too? No, this is something different. Let's not slice the money. Let's pick the money up. Yet another relic. Another bit of experience. Yeah, they lost me. So, the leopards. Okay, well, that's going to have to come at a later time. Thank you, everybody, for watching. This has been Far Cry 3, and uh, we'll return shortly. Actually, more promptly, we'll return to Assassin's Creed. But Far Cry 3 will be right around the corner. So thanks, and see you later!